what is going on guys uh, welcome back to the channel welcome back to another countdown video and today we are talking about daniel bryan who was just recently cleared by the wwe to return to in-ring action and as soon as this was announced one of the first thing that came to my mind was the fact that damn we're now going to be able to see daniel bryan compete with certain superstars that are just amazing at what they're doing in the wwe right now therefore making these matchups dream matches that we're gonna be able to see within the next year or so of daniel bryan competing and this is the amazing thing about it the fact that now that daniel bryan is clear to compete we actually have a chance of seeing these dream matches so in this countdown we're talking about 10 dream matches and before we even get right through it elbow drop a like on this video you savages and get ready to comment which of these 10 matches would you like to see the most starting off with number 10 i got finn balor now he is number 10 but keep in mind guys that until we get to the last three or so i don't have a specific order these dream matches i just want to see them so yes on this spot we got finn balor versus daniel bryan and these two guys have never really interacted with each other as by the time that finn balor was called up to the main roster daniel bryan was already quote unquote retired so this will be a first time encounter for these two guys and it will certainly be an interesting one if it were to happen at number nine we got Dolph Ziggler, who you guys know i had to include him here and it has to do more with the fact that wwe already teased this match just recently on smackdown live we have Dolph ziggler coming up to daniel bryan telling him that he can wait to beat him and the interesting part about this match and the reason why i won it so much was the fact that the last wrestlemania that daniel bryan had one of the biggest rumors was that we were going to be getting daniel bryan versus Dolph ziggler in a one-on-one -on -one match and this was going to be Dolph ziggler big one-on-one -on -one match and it was something that both of these guys wanted and they played it off on twitter very well simply because they knew that they didn't have anything significant to do at the event so they figured why not play it off and once those rumors came out a lot of people wanted to see this match another interesting matchup will be daniel bryan versus seth rollins seth rollins is so much better than when daniel bryan retired so because we know these two guys would deliver like crazy it's just a dream match we're waiting to happen and at number seven we got braun Strowman. braun Strowman is a guy that in the last two years he has made a name for himself and he is probably the best candidate for wwe to do a david versus goliath storyline we know that braun Strowman is a monster and uh, daniel bryan is the ultimate underdog and in my opinion these two guys might not only have a dream match but an amazing few that could go on for weeks and at number six we got brock lesnar versus daniel bryan this is another option that they have if they want to do another ultimate underdog story and this was a match that was actually rumored to happen but wwe never truly got around it and by the time that they were close to doing it daniel bryan had to retire moving on to number five we got daniel bryan facing off against kurt angle and what's interesting about this match is that every time that kurt angle is asked who would he like to face in the wwe one of the top names was daniel bryan even before daniel bryan came back to the wwe he indicated multiple times that one of his dream matches was going against Daniel Bryan and I'm pretty sure Daniel Bryan feels the same way so far we haven't seen much from Kurt Angle and him having a one-on-one -on -one match against Bryan could be the perfect match for him to showcase exactly what he still got left in him moving on to number four and this doesn't really need much explanation but I'm gonna leave it right here for you guys we truly need a CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan match and no I'm not talking about a match that happens on monday night raw or tuesday night smackdown i'm talking about wwe has a perfect chance now to give these two guys the main event of wrestlemania in the upcoming year we know that cm punk is not back with the wwe so this is the only one match that we might not get to see anytime soon but it's a main event match that we are all waiting to see and again we've seen it before but i want to see it in a bigger stage and at number three we got daniel bryan going against shinsuke nakamura and don't doubt it wwe is gonna make this match happen similar to how they're gonna make the next two matches that i discussed happen but this is another quality main event match and another match that could happen at wrestlemania as well within the next couple of years with the similar background history that both of these guys have this could be a perfect storyline that wwe could use and at number two i don't need to say much but aj styles versus daniel bryan in wwe it's another main event 
rematch that we need to see it needs to happen and i'm pretty sure that wwe already have plans for it or they more than likely have it on the top priority list in regards to matches that they want to give us it has to be right if you want the main roster to get a five star match daniel bryan versus aj styles is the match to get that done last time we saw a five star match on wwe according to ratings of course it was cm punk versus john cena and that was in 2011 so again i feel like this is the perfect match with aj styles and also daniel bryan's wrestling skills as we know daniel bryan was the best when he left and aj styles is the current best in my personal opinion in regards to who is the better wrestler in the wwe this could be the best versus the best scenario and at number one i got the match that we all been waiting for whether we want to see the miss go against daniel bryan or not this is the storyline that has been building and the storyline that we want daniel bryan to come back for after so many interactions between these two guys especially on the early stages of daniel bryan retirement during talking smack we have been wanting the miss to go against daniel bryan mostly because we want daniel bryan to shut him up this match has been teased so much by wwe and now we finally know that it would happen sooner or later now that daniel bryan is back the miss even went on twitter and sarcastically smiled at the fact that daniel bryan was clear to compete and again this is the one match that made us want daniel bryan to get clear to compete anyways you savages that is what i got for you for this countdown i hope that you enjoy if you did oh boy drop a like on this video and as i said before let me know down in the comments below which of these matches would you like to see the most and let me know why we on the road to 100 000 subscribers i'm going to tell you dig it